This video gives an introduction to the Mayo Plus Pro, a unit that has the ability to stimulate pelvic floor muscles as well as monitor performance using EMG. Throughout a woman's life there are times when we struggle to activate our pelvic floor muscles and muscle stimulation is helpful in two ways, by encouraging a weak muscle to contract, by improving our brain's awareness of what it feels like to tighten the muscle correctly. Once activated, the next stage is to improve the strength, quality and coordination as the pelvic floor muscle works together with other core muscles. Pelvic floor muscles are hidden inside, but the Myo Plus Pro displays muscle activity on the screen, in effect enabling you to see what's happening inside. You can monitor the movement as you train your muscles to work more effectively in different positions such as standing or during activities such as coughing or sneezing. It's possible to measure improvement and progress exercise routines to make sure that you're getting the maximum benefit from the effort that you're putting in. You can also use the unit to ensure you're able to fully relax your pelvic floor. And this is really important because tension and tightness can lead to pain and even problems emptying your bladder and bowel. This type of device can be used on other muscle groups and also has programs that can treat other conditions such as pain. So let's have a look at the Maya Plus's main functions. To stimulate a weak pelvic floor, we use the Periform Electrode Vaginal Device. Once inserted into the vagina, the sensor plates sit alongside the muscle and deliver the stimulation. I'll use surface electrodes to demonstrate the effect. Always ensure that there is a good connection between the cables and no metal is exposed. Switching the unit on takes you to the welcome screen. Press the program button and you can see some of the various presets for different conditions. Let's focus on preset 3, stress. The first phase is highlighted in yellow. You can view the specific details of each phase by pressing this icon at the bottom of the screen. Here we have access to information such as the frequency, pulse width, total phase time and that the muscle will receive stimulation for 10 seconds and then rest for 10 seconds. Each phase can be viewed in the same way. To commence the stimulation, continue to press the start milliamp plus button and as the output increases, the muscle will contract. During the rest phase, the screen prompt gives the instruction to relax, as well as a background reading of any muscle activity. The stress program will run continuously until all four phases are completed. Let's look at the second function of the Myo Plus Pro and how it can monitor performance using EMG, electromyography. This is a form of biofeedback giving precise measurements of muscle activity. Insert the periform lead into the unit as before, ensuring full connection between the cables. EMG always requires use of a reference electrode to obtain an accurate reading. This can be placed anywhere on the body. It's good to spend a few moments to analyse the trace and to set the threshold level by viewing the open display. Firstly, can the muscle relax and release so the background reading is below 4 microvolts? We want to assess the EMG threshold so the unit scale can be set appropriately depending on the muscle's strength. This can be done in various ways. The easiest is to use the automatic function. Press the Auto Adjust button and the threshold number will flash. Contract the muscle as hard as possible for 3 seconds. The threshold level will be set at 80% of the maximum calculated average during the 3 second hold. You are now ready to do a simple work rest assessment. You can customise the programme but a suggestion is 5 seconds work, 5 seconds rest, five trials. Looking at the screen, you can see how the threshold is set to the last adjustment. This can be changed at the start of any work rest assessment by pressing the auto adjust button as before. 
press the start button to commence the work rest session. The screen and vocal cue will prompt you to contract and work for five seconds and to rest and release for five seconds. The aim is to go above the threshold level during each maximum contraction and to release below four microvolts in the rest phase. At the end of the assessment, the EMG statistics are displayed on the screen. Over a period of time, the work rest assessments can be repeated as the muscle becomes stronger and fitter. This can be a really encouraging and a strong motivating tool as statistics improve. After completing the work rest assessment, you can either go on to use some of the preset biofeedback programs shown here, or you can set up your own EMG biofeedback program by going to the welcome screen, opening the programs, moving to custom. Here you can see I've set up custom one to start with EMG. You can see the specific settings I've chosen. It's possible to add another phase to this custom one program, such as muscle stimulation, to follow on from the EMG session. This is done by adding another phase to the sequence. For example, here I'm adding another stimulation session. In total, five phases can be added to each customised programme. Going back to the home screen, we can see there are biofeedback games which can be fun and help compliance, especially in children. Each game has clear instructions and can help to train muscle strength, coordination and encourage complete relaxation. The Rose Relaxation Game is especially helpful for women who struggle to relax and release their pelvic floor. Finally, the unit actually allows EMG biofeedback and muscle stimulation to be combined together. This is called ETS, which stands for EMG Triggered Stimulation. The principle is that the muscle contracts to its measured maximum and at this point stimulation fires in to encourage recruitment of more muscle fibres. We would set the threshold as before. We can adjust the biofeedback program to specific requirements. Here we have a work time of six seconds and a rest time of 12 seconds. Increase the stimulation to obtain a muscle contraction. The, mu the program will then start. You can see if I work my muscle to its threshold, the stimulation will fire in to assist. If I don't reach the threshold, the stimulation is not activated. You may want to add ETS to one of your customised programmes as set up here in customised programme number three.
To summarise, the Maya Plus Pro is a versatile unit with many different functions. As with any device, we recommend it's used under the guidance of a healthcare professional. This ensures your condition is fully assessed and you are advised which programmes are most suitable.